Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So today we are at Smoky Lane Stables and it is their December horse sale. So it's their riding pony and horse sale. So we're gonna go through the barn and see what's here today and potentially find a horse to purchase. We drove four hours from Michigan to Ohio. So it was a little bit of a road trip, but we'll see what's here. Oh my gosh, that one is freaking beautiful. I didn't see him riding it, but... That was, if they can ride it through the obstacle course, it's mine. <laughs> yep, you are young. You are about that age, aren't you? How old is he? Five. Five or right. six. Yeah, he's got... He's got yeah, so he's a, he's a Frisian quarter horse cross. That's why I like him. Yep. I do like this gelding a lot. Now she said he's more for intermediates to experienced riders and that he needs someone who's confident. And I am keeping Kyle in mind because I do want something for him to ride when we do go trail riding. And he's a decent size, but he's not that much bigger than Arlo, even though it appears like he is. Okay, he was super cute. I liked him a lot and he's about five or six. So we'll just watch him a little bit and see. Kyle, what do you think of him? I like him, he's a little bigger than Mushu. Yeah, well, he's a lot bigger than Mushu. Yeah, <laughs> I like his build. Yeah, he's cute. What's really nice about this sale is they have a large area with obstacles where the horses are ridden and they have a track so you can see the horses move and how they respond in the environment. And it's great. So Kyle and I are just gonna hang out here and watch some of the horses as they are being ridden and see if we're interested in any of them. Now this horse was beautiful, but he was only two years old and I'm not really looking for a two year old at this moment. I want something a little bit older, like probably four would be the bare minimum. So around five to 15 years old would be preferable right now. I really like these two Pintos in the back. They are beautiful and the same person brought them. So we're gonna get a little more information on them later. I just wanna watch them ride. Now that little pony was so cute. This other Pinto paint, absolutely gorgeous. There are some beautiful, beautiful horses here today. Also, when I'm out here, I'm really paying attention to how the horses move, how they're responding to not only the environment, but the rider as well. And that is extremely important at an auction. Let's go in one of the barns. They have multiple barns. So let's go walk down one of the aisles and see what's here. I like a lot of these horses, but the thing is I do need something that's decent sized for Kyle. I don't want to buy something that he can't ride unless it's something completely magical that I can't pass up that's a little bit smaller. You know what I mean? never saw you if we didn't look over. Oh, this is a cute buckskin. Oh, you're good. She's like, I'm ready to go. I think you just got here, girl. <laughs> She's gorgeous though, Kyle, Thank look you. at her. Beautiful color, aren't you? Okay, so we're just checking everything out. There's some really cute ones here today. So we'll see what ends up happening. As you know, I'm picky because when I buy a horse, I'm really making that come in. <laughs> Hi, you're so cute. These are the two Tobiano horses that we saw riding earlier. So I am interested in potentially one of them. So I'm gonna pet them a little bit, see what their personalities are like. This boy is so sweet. And then I'm gonna look them over because like I said, I am interested. And if everything looks good, it really will just depend on what they go for. I'm asking the seller a few questions like, is he husband safe, quote unquote? What's his personality like? Is he always this lovey? And just different types of questions like trail experience, all of that. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you for that. Hey, chill, chill. <laughs> chill. Thank you for that. That's okay. I had, 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 I had
Now I'm gonna walk around and feel all four legs for any heat or swelling because if there's heat or swelling, the horse could potentially have soundness issues. There's no way to guarantee what issues they would have without a vet present, but I'm trying to do my due diligence and then I'm going to check the teeth to verify the age of the horse. And that's something that you always should do. Never just trust the seller, even if they are an honest seller and have a good reputation, you always just wanna check for yourself. I honestly like both of these horses equally. 95 has a little more of a drafty look, but they're both really great. Hold on, let me look. 63. Oh, that's why. Like, oh my gosh. This horse is absolutely stunning. As you saw, he is a Clydesdale Gypsy Cross and he's around 16.1. I think he's closer to 16 hands because Belle is 16.1 technically and she seems a lot bigger, but he is extremely stout. He's basically a fantasy horse, which is what I really like. He has a ton of mane and tail. I like his conformation and he seems very sweet. Plus he's six years old, so there's a lot of opportunity to continue training him and molding him into an awesome horse. Obviously, I'm looking at more than just his flashiness, so that's why I'm checking him out, I'm touching him, I'm feeling for swelling, I'm gonna pick up his leg and check out his hooves, and also I'm gonna make sure there's no mites or any issues with his feathering, because sometimes that can be a prominent problem with feathered breeds. I'm also gonna look at his teeth to make sure there's no issues in his mouth that I can see visibly, and of course, to verify his age. And overall, his demeanor seems quite pleasant, especially for how young he is and being in a busy environment. He's so cool though, and he's kind of what I'm looking for. Like that big enough for you to ride Kyle, but like a fantasy type horse, and he's gorgeous and young enough to train, but still broke to ride. He's super cool, we'll see, I don't know. You like him? Oh, he loves you. <laughs> he shined above him. I know, he looks good. Aww. Uh, I don't know if I can get up there without ripping my pants. <laughs> That's a problem of mine. You're so gorgeous! As you can tell, I really like Diego. I think he is just such a cool horse. He's unique, he's what I like, totally my type, and he's a fantastic size for what we're looking for. The issue that I see presently is that he's gonna go for a decent amount of money, which he should. I mean, he's a beautiful horse, totally get that. But the thing is, I'm not gonna spend 20, 30 grand on a horse that I don't get to ride or really have a vet's opinion in regards to a PPE if I'm spending that kind of money. Plus, I need to see him move in person. That's gonna really help me determine. What I'm thinking in my mind is probably between 10 and 15,000 would be more comfortable. But even then, that's a lot of money without riding the horse and doing a PPE. He's like, hello, sir. Kyle's really doing this due diligence here. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. 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 But look at how his posture is. He's just naturally standing square. That's a really good sign. I mean, he's just a beautiful horse. I really like him. Okay, I'm really interested in him. I want him. But again, it's an auction. I'm not gonna spend tens of thousands of dollars. So, I mean, he's gonna go for a decent price, which is fine, but I'm not gonna go crazy because I don't get a chance to ride him or do a PPE, you know what I mean? But he's freaking beautiful. It's Zazu 2.0. <laughs> he's cute. Look how cute you are. That is normal. 
Look at the boots and everything. Okay, we're gonna go into the sail barn and look at the rest of the horses, see if anything else is here. Kind of yeah, it's dappled, not spots. Dapple? Yeah, those are dapples. I know, they're really pretty. Cute. Black my money pants. Represent. <laughs> where the horses get to eat and drink. It's like the hay bar. This sale is so much better than many other sales. Like the horses are actually taken care of. At this auction, there's around 300 horses, give or take, and they have this auction once a month. So we're just doing our rounds, checking everything out. Most of the horses we're seeing are not the size we're looking for. And I'm smaller, but most of my students are adults and then Kyle's bigger too. So it just doesn't make sense for me to get something really small currently, or it's just not quite the right temperament we're looking for. Wow, look at those eyes. You're so gorgeous. Hi. Hello. You look sweet. This mare was adorable. I liked how stout she is and she'd be a great size for me and she is super stocky, but not quite big enough for Kyle. Darn it. Okay, horse lovers, they are getting Diego out. They already rode him in the ring, but we were talking and we didn't see it. So they actually came back out here to trot him for us and move him a little bit so I can see him before he goes into the ring because he's going in soon. A lot going on. <laughs> There is a lot going on here, so of course I'm taking that into consideration. I'm more so looking at how he moves. He's really straight in the hocks, and I'm not really loving how he's going out to the side when he's stepping. Now, of course, he's looking at things, but yeah, that's a little bit of a concern for me. Not saying that he isn't sound or that he wouldn't be completely fine, but again, I don't get to have a PPE, so I have to make this determination at face value because we're at an auction. For being a six-year-old and being in this environment, he's honestly being such a sweetheart. I mean, the little head shakes and stuff like that, I mean, that's pretty normal. He could just be excited, but he's listening. He stops really well. I love that. I think he's a great horse with a lot of potential, but we're going to just have to see the movement. He's so funny. More so at the trot. I really want to see him move at the trot. That's going to give me a lot of information on how he moves. Can you just trot him for one second? Thank you so much. Looking at him, he moves sound and he is shot on all four. So that's something as well. Nothing wrong with that. A lot of horses are shot on all four, especially when I get them at auctions. But what I'm not loving, and again, this is just my personal opinion. 
I don't know for sure, I'm not a vet, but I'm not loving how he's dropping in his fetlock. So when he's moving his suspensory ligaments and his fetlocks are dropping, and that is something that concerns me for long-term longevity and soundness. Now, again, I don't know for sure. And that's my thing. I don't know for sure because I can't get a vet check. But what I'm seeing is I'm not really sure if that's something I want to pay twenty to 30000 for, if that makes sense, especially if I'm not able to ride the horse first. Good confirmation. Diego is definitely easy on the eyes and a blast to ride. Ride English and Western also drives. He's got a walk trot on a slow load below the surface here. If anybody buys him, takes him home, doesn't like him for any reason the next 30 days, as long as he comes back to the same condition and isn't hurt, he'll buy the horse back from you. He said this horse is absolutely 100% one of the funnest horses he's ever rode. Marcus, I've never seen him ride many horses. He sent me videos. He was riding him around. He's a nice, nice horse. Guarantee 100%. Look in the ring right here. Look at what's in the ring right here. Number 63 in the highlight. I'm gonna get 20,000 on her. 20 grand, how do you get down? 20 grand down, 20. How do you get down? Hey, get 10,000 to go. 10 bid, how do you get down? Hey, I'm gonna put it down. Now we're gonna get 5,000 to go. 6,000 on her. 6, 7, 8. How do you get down? How do you get down? How do you get down? 10, now 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, This is the Topiano from earlier, so we're going to watch this horse ride a little bit more because I am interested, and then we'll see what this horse ends up going for in the ring. Okay, horse lovers, what do you think of the movement and what would you pay for this horse just based off what you're seeing right here and now? He's been out in the mountains in Colorado. He's done it all. He's worked. He's packed. He's hunted. He's got it all. Hey, what I do now? I'm here to go. 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 I'm here to
Hey, he likes this horse a lot. He knows he called, called a couple things on him. He doesn't like the traffic a lot. But I'll tell you what, he said this horse was out in the pasture since August. He got him in the beginning of this week, saddled him up, and just rode right off like he never missed a day in the week. I'm talking to my friend Phil. His parents own the auction. He's super cool. And we're just talking about the horse. And they are super honest here and called out a few things about the horse in the ring. And it's not their horse. It's a consigned horse. But, yeah, he's not fond of traffic. They said he, you know, will get a little anxious if he's in a stall or something like that. So I just decided I'm going to pass on him. But he's a good horse. Really good horse. You're the winner there, sir. Nice horse. Five hundred and ten, five hundred and two. Get two thousand dollars. Two thousand. Roll on ten, fifteen hundred, and fifteen two thousand. My life, man. But that's one thing I had never seen before. The pony sitting at the table eating cereal with the little boy that's riding him. Hey, got three thousand dollars here. I'm on thirty-five. Five hundred and ten, five hundred and ten. Hey, he said he, he just thought about it. He forgot to tell us you get the saddle and everything with it. Yeah, you also get the saddle with this deal. Three thousand, thirty-five hundred. So, about there, four thousand. Put them in number seven, nine, seven. Thank you. Got a nice package. Hi. You're pretty, Mama. Hi. Hi, Mama. Yeah, some people say I'm too picky, but at the end of the day, I've had a lot of experience buying from auctions and I'm just not going to overpay for horses. And it's not even saying that they're not worth it, but when it's an auction situation, you truly don't know what you're getting. You can't do a PPE. You don't usually get to ride the horse. So you have to make that decision right then and there. And I don't take my decisions lightly. I'm going to buy a horse. I'm looking for a horse, like actively trying to buy. But it's also winter, so if I go into winter with nine horses and I don't get one, that's okay too. We also have like three other sales coming up in the next couple weeks. I do think there's a lot of potential here, but like I said, it has to be a good reason for me to purchase the horse. And every horse is going to have something. There is no such thing as a perfect horse. I'm not trying to be nitpicky. I'm just trying to take on what I'm ready to for the time being. And honestly, right now, I would like to get a horse that's broke to ride, that I can enjoy, potentially have them do some lessons, a horse that Kyle could ride. That can change depending on what horses come up, you know what I mean? But that's more so what I'm looking for, um, something for myself to enjoy. So, because I have Ezzy and Ariel that I'm working with, plus Mushu, and I'm going to be training Belle. So I could get a project, I'm not opposed to that, but I would like something that's more quiet and safe for the time being. So we'll see, and I'm definitely willing to pay that, but I just have to make sure that the horse looks A-OK -okay from an auction standpoint. What I mean by that is I don't see any issues present because like I said, I can't do a PPE. Hey, gonna be 35, Look seven, at four. all of these sales. Oh. 1,800, and now 18 on the bottom, and I'm gonna hit it down 18, now 2,000, hit it down 2,000, hit it down 2,000, hit it down 2,000, hit it down 2,000, now 2,000, hit it down 19, now 2,000, hit it down 19, this will get her now 2,000, hit it down 19 on the bottom, and I'm gonna 2,000 dollars on the pair and a half. So, 1900 over here, buyer number 711, 711. Get number 39. Well, red, 10 year old, 8 to 8 chip. Blue, ready, 1000, now 2, you got 2, ready, ready, 1000, now 15, 2. And now 25, you got 3000, 35, ready, ready, 35. I got 3000, now we have to go over here. And now 75, ready, ready, 75, get 5000, ready, ready, 2000, now 2000, 15. And now 2000, 3000, now we're going to be 35 up here. 
riding, trail riding, low level massage, low level jumping. Uh, could even rock it in the saddle seat. Just a good, honest seven year old gully that's well broke an Arabian gully. Eddie and they have another 64 is in. Eddie and they have another 64 is in. Eddie and they have another 64 is in. A little bit green, so just buy him that way. So, great paint gelman. He is in. Stands for the fair, pays his loads, and oh. trails like a puppy. He's got a good for leg cues. He will open doors. And was also used uh, on a drill team for a year. Now, I am having now, cows are now, I'm having to get a better head to get 1100, 1100, sir. I don't want to get a moment, I'm going to play to get a 12. 1150 up here with Jayden, 1150. I had to get a little bit of a third to get a man, 30 tail. I had to get a man, 3,000, 30 tail. I got 3,000, 1150. I had to get a little bit of a third to get a man, 30 tail. I had to get a little bit of a third to get a man, 30 tail. I got 3,000, 150. I had to get a little bit of a third to get a man, 30 tail. He's got a private safe room sound and a six year old white business for horse. Uh, yeah, I've been using the buggy most of my life. Yeah, the note says here register, but I don't have the papers. Okay. I have 445, 4500, 8000, I have 4500. I have 4500. We'll go over, uh, go over some cost trails and does it all. It's broke, ready for the kids or whoever wants to ride. You don't even have to be a kid to ride this one. Okay, horse lovers, so we just left the sale a little while ago and we got to our hotel room. There were a lot of amazing horses at the sale tonight. They brought in some good money. A lot of them went for seven up to $10,000, $20,000. So that was pretty high. So the Gypsy Clyde sale, I really did like him. But then when I saw him move, I just don't know if it's a horse that would hold up just looking at how his fetlocks fell when he was trotting. And I also did text two of my vets to see what their opinion was as well. And they agreed with me. So I'm not saying that there's for sure anything wrong with that horse. I mean, he was absolutely gorgeous, stunning. I am not even saying he's not worth the money. Just for me, without being able to do an actual PPE, I didn't want to spend $20,000 and not being able to ride the horse. If it was a private sale and I could actually ride him and then potentially have a vet come and look at him for that kind of money, then it definitely would have made sense. I'm not saying he's not worth it. He definitely could be. He's beautiful, big, what everybody's looking for. As you saw, I was interested in a few of the other horses too, but at the end of the day, there just wasn't anything that I wanted to bring home for one reason or another. And as I talked about earlier, I'm not just being picky to be picky. When I buy a horse, I'm committing to that horse. I'm not looking to flip them. Of course, at the end of the day, I'm gonna work with them for years and find them a home eventually, but I'm gonna be working with them. So I'm taking that on as a serious commitment. And like I said, we're gonna be going to a few other sales, so we'll see what comes up. And it's also okay if I don't get a horse. I'm not in a big rush because I'm gonna be so busy with Ariel and Esmeralda plus Belle. But if the right horse comes along and the right opportunity, I'm definitely looking to buy. Well, horse lovers, I really hope you enjoyed this video and coming along to the auction. What's really great about Smoky Lane is they are a no kill auction. So that's why I definitely support this auction over other ones. I think that it's great that they bring a lot of family type horses and they try to be as honest as possible. If you wanna support Free Spirit Equestrian, we just opened a new boutique. It's called The Spirited Horse. And I have lipsticks, bitless bridles that I designed, and then I have some body butters and scrubs too. Right now I'm wearing the Riding Rosy lipstick. It's a pretty pink and it's topped with my Galloping and Glitter lip gloss. So if you wanna support us and the horses, that's a way you can do it. I'm super excited about this store and I worked really hard to create and design high quality products. So make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian or any of our upcoming auctions because you never know what's gonna happen. And I'll see you next time.